services, I mean democracy. But when there's human rights violations here, no other country can intervene. You know, China isn't bombing police departments, or Cuba isn't bombing police departments that, that are killing civilians here. But America, you know, has to take the moral high ground and, oh, we, we have to save these heathens and these um, savages in other countries because uh, they don't know how to lead themselves. They don't know what democracy is. So we have to teach them what democracy is uh, with our Raytheon bombs and our uh, Boeing drones and the Lockheed Martin um, missiles. That is how we will spread um, capitalism, I mean democracy, to the uh, global south and Middle East. You know, wiping um, villages in Pakistan, Somalia, Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, Palestine off the face of the earth isn't necessarily spreading democracy. They like to say they're spreading democracy, but it, what it's really about is obtaining uh, resources and um, supporting the militarized industrial complex and looting resources from um, non-Western nations. Uh, Afghanistan has not only lithium, but also um, opium. Oh wait, isn't there an opioid crisis? That's just a coincidence. Uh, Bolivia has lithium. Um, other countries in the Middle East and South America have oil, cobalt, uh, uranium, other materials needed to make even more weapons. If you're a vet, you should be proud to be a puppet and that's it. You weren't fighting for freedom. You weren't defending America. I didn't ask you to go over to Afghanistan, and the Afghanis didn't want you there in the first place. Your peers did die in vain, not because Biden's pulling out. Do you want there is no end game for Afghanistan. There never was. It was about boosting um, the profits of the board members at Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Bay Systems. That's who you worked for. You were a pawn. You were used by the militarized industrial complex and the elite so that they can loot the resources from Afghanistan, the lithium, and the opium. And it's very interesting that the media will try to, um, you know, paint American troops or Western troops in a sympathetic light, um, you know, saying that the, tr the vets are so frustrated and they don't know what they're fighting for and they fear that they're their peers died in vain, well, you should have thought about that before you decided to join an imperialist army. You know, the invasion of Iraq and, Af and Afghanistan were illegal. Um, you went there to protect opium fields and steal lithium, not to protect women, not to spread democracy, not to uh, defend the free world or go after the Taliban. You clearly didn't go there to go after the Taliban because we've been funding them. During Operation Cyclone, the CIA funded Gulbuddin Hikamartar, a warlord and Islamist. He was part of the Professors, a organization on campus um, at Kabul University in 1972, which was led by Burhanuddin Rabani, um, who advocated for forcing women off campus by throwing acid in their face. This is who the U.S. decided to fund, a Islamist who um, abused and attacked women on campus in Kabul. In the 1980s, he was even invited to Washington, D.C. and met with Reagan. In 1994, he ordered the shelling of Kabul, killing 25,000 citizens. The lack of self-awareness that our po politicians have, it's never phrased as civilians uh, were murdered. It's civilians were killed. Uh, people get killed in landslides and hurricanes. They don't get killed when you drop um, bombs on them and drone strike them. That's called murder. You know, politicians have such soft criticisms of America. You could show them, you know, towns without clean water, uh, but they still insist America is a democracy, even though we have these glaring social uh, issues. And not just social issues, but these are human rights violations, not providing people with clean drinking water, having uh, state militants murder people and act as judge, jury, and as executioner, and then face no consequences for it. America likes to downplay, you know, the number of civilians it's responsible for the deaths of. Look at Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, um, Somalia, all the countries that we have pulled out of and had uh, not wars per se, but had um, military bases 
or defense contractors. By the way, defense contractor Blackwater, they were selling seats at the Kabul airport to profiteer off of the destruction of Afghanistan. And American police and um, the Taliban, American police have killed more civilians than the Taliban. American police have also killed more citizens than Hamas, but also Scandinavia, the poster child for, you know, Scandinavian socialism. WikiLeaks released information from the Swedish armed forces uh, showing that they advocated sending Jas Gripen fighter aircraft to Afghanistan. By deploying these aircrafts, they hope to enhance the marketability of the fighter aircraft. It's not about women's rights, uh, spreading democracy, protecting civilians, going after the Taliban. It's clearly not going after the Taliban is an objective because America funded the Taliban and the Mujahideen. It's always about testing the um, weapons manufacturers' newest toys. Six million Afghanis have been displaced in the past 20 years. 7,423 bombs were dropped alone in 2019. On average, that's 20 per day for 20 years. We have troops that posted with SS flags and others who wore necklaces of ears. There was numerous accounts of um, rape and the abuse of women by these Western troops and Operation Cyclone, which, um, you know, threw fuel on the fire and gave even more power to the Taliban because they were trying to push out leftists and communists who were on campus who were fighting for women's rights. It's about, it's about stealing resources and um, you know, expanding colonialism and keeping it alive so that these countries in the global south and middle east can never flourish. They can't create their own economies or develop their own uh, societies. They always are um, kept under the thumb of the western imperialists. These are blue light glasses by the way. I actually do wear glasses um, but I put my contacts in and I didn't want to take them out. Um, that they can, you know, justify funding the police, not just Democrats, I mean not just Republicans, but Democrats too, are both pro-funding the police. They will always uh, support policy that calls for um, increasing their budget, giving them more weapons, more guns, more tanks. They are a standing home army that um, faces no ramifications for their actions, and yet Democrats and Republicans, you know, they'll coddle the, the terrorists who are police officers. They know who the police officers are who are murdering people in cold blood and getting away with it. Yet, they feel obligated to intervene in Venezuela and Bolivia and Cuba and uh, Afghanistan, but they don't feel um, obligated to take the same measures within our own borders. So that is why we cannot depend on politicians to save us. They're reactionary. They take too long. And they're, you know, they have no problem supporting a coup. They have no problem aligning themselves with the CIA, Department of Defense, and um, defense contractors to go into another country and play God. But heaven forbid, you know, Russia hacked our election. Um, but even if they hacked our election, America isn't a democracy. 